loves welcome back to Tira Itana. my name is Abby and today we're gonna be talking about um, something that I've been dying to kind of share with you guys for a while um, at first I was gonna review a product that I've used for years um, <clears throat> that is very much uh, within a spiritual context because I know my channel is very much spiritual um, but it's something that I use a lot. Um, I bought it in Miami, uh, traveling a while back. Um, and that is called the Vita Jewel water bottle, which is has these crystallized pods that we are going to talk about a little bit. Um, but I recently, while going into their website, because what had happened was that one of my pods broke from inside without the bottle actually breaking. Um, which was really annoying so I had contacted them to see like what can be done and they gave me a coupon for the pod itself but then I kind of looked at their website which I kind of go in per periodically um, throughout the year <clears throat> just to see what you know what updates they have they usually have different things going on um, so I happened to see that they have um, a new product called the Inu water bottle um, which I'm gonna be reviewing but I from my research on it I already know that it's gonna be like 10 million times better than this and I'm gonna explain why um, so this is the box that it came with um, and I'm good we're gonna talk about it but so let's talk about crystal charged water uh, because this is something that I do which uh, like in a ritual format I do it every day I drink crystal water every day this is why I have this water bottle um I've had it for years now um this is the passion pod it is carnelian and some other stuff that I cannot recall because I don't remember all of the crystals that are in there um I originally have four pods four pods yes four pods that I bought um the first one that I bought was this one that came with the water bottle I bought it in Miami at a spiritual shop when I saw it, it was funny because when I when I was at the shop, um, before I even entered the shop, I was thinking about um, that I needed uh, water that was crystallized. I was just like, I kind of want to just really drink that right now. And then I walked into the shop and I was just looking for, at that time in my life, I was doing this tradition where I would travel to different states and I would go to a spiritual shop and buy a pendulum from every state that I would travel to um, and that uh, personal ritual started in New Orleans <coughs> sorry uh, started in New Orleans and um, while I was in Miami I was going to the spiritual shop and I checked it out and I saw um, this water bottle but with this one is called the wellness pod and it has amethyst clear quartz and rose quartz I remember that because I it's just like the first one I got so it was a special moment but I also bought this one which is really expensive mind you the bottle itself plus the crystals themselves is really expensive I dropped like 350 I think on everything maybe less than that but um this one was probably the most expensive expensive one because of what it is um so this one's called the wellness because it has um the clear quartz um the amethyst and the rose quartz which is considered to be the wellness pod is what keeps you well having emotional health having that balance and um, making sure you have that balance up here this is the creativity I believe is creativity no this is an inspiration pod um, this is lapis lazuli um, rutilated, cor uh, rutilated and rutilated quartz and it is very beautiful but it's also very expensive because lapis is very expensive itself so it has a lot of different chunks in here if you actually add up the price of all of these it's gonna be expensive if you're buying it like that um so i'm i wasn't surprised that it was expensive but it was definitely expensive um and when i saw it i just immediately fell in love with it because i was like oh my god this makes perfect sense um and the reason why it makes sense versus you know um a lot of the things that people do is that they'll take a bottle for example they'll take a bottle and you'll put crystals on inside of it or you'll put crystals around it um, just to charge it beforehand and then after it's charged you go and you use it in whatever form the problem with that is is that a lot of the time especially because I live in the New York City area 
I am always on the go. So I need to put water in this and be on my way <laughs> so a lot of the time. Unless like I'm, I'm working my magic, I'm on my altar space. Um, I'm always like, you know, on the go. I refill it, this is and that, and then I'm on the go again. Um, so I need to make sure that I am consuming something that is getting charged while I am moving. Um, so this it gave me the opportunity to do that because it had the pot inside. And the positive thing about the whole point of having it in a pot itself, in this thing, it's that it it's in inside a liquid. This is not supposed to be water, but if it leaks into the water, it's not supposed to be bad for you. It's, I think it's like a specific thing that like just maintains and preserves it. Um, but the point of putting it in a pod for VitaJewel from what I was told at the time was that um, it keeps instead the reason why a lot of the crystals wear out when you're doing this type of thing where you're putting it inside of a bottle they wear out because you're constantly pouring the water in them and it's just getting worn down by the water getting up that energy absorbed in um and that wears out the crystal itself so at some point you're gonna have to put it back into the earth this um process prevents the crystal from physically being worn down by the water it's just sitting there um so it's different you could still charge it by the, the the moonlight eclipses different things um and go about your day and do what you need to do um because like i said a lot of the time i don't have time while i'm on the go on a regular day to put fill a bottle like this around with crystals and you know wait till it's charged up before i can use it i i just need to be on the go and this is why this was just sold to me right away like i was just like i need it i literally was just thinking about this and i need it and boom um the other thing that i really loved about it is that they all taste different the water itself actually tastes different um wellness is a little bit sweet um and i know this is gonna sound ridiculous but the wellness pod is a little bit sweet i have the fitness one as well which has a jasper in it that one's a little bit like almost earthy it's like almost almost like dirt but not like <laughs> nasty dirt or anything it's just tastes like earthy um like if i was drinking at a river or something like that even though river water i've had river water it doesn't taste the way that the jasper does i don't know what it is but the jasper one just tastes like it's just earthy um the lapis one tastes very clear and i really like working with the pods for different things this um, because it has carnelian, I would use this when I'm on my messes. Um, so I will switch the pod depending on what um, magic what I'm doing. And you see what I'm saying about, you know, not having time to kind of have uh, this situation around, but still working my magic around the pod. So if I'm on my messes and it is my moon cycle, I will change it to the carnelian. If I am working on my body my uh, or like you know like working out or anything like that i'll switch it to the jasper because that's the fitness one and it supports my lungs and my different like internally um if i am like meditating or i'm going to yoga or something like that i'll switch to the wellness um if i'm writing or you know working on a project i'll switch to the lapis because it helps with inspiration and creativity messages getting downloaded spiritually so it just opens up the opportunity for so many different things for me and this is why I invested so much time and money into um this water bottle and I've had it for years um I have my issues with it um which I'll talk about but for the most part it's it was a great thing and I always use it but I really when I was looking at the Inu I was like this is the thing that's gonna make me switch it over and the problem with this bottle for me like I think the, the most annoying thing about it is that sometimes when you're like refilling it or washing it or whatever water will get in here you won't even think about it you'll tip it over and then water will start coming out not from the bottle but from the little pocket thingies right here the little surrounding side and it's just like a little bit annoying that's kind of like the most peeved um, that it could get with that bottle um, but it's also a little bit more annoying to clean I guess because you have to take off both parts um, first and back and then clean both and all that stuff so it's, i guess it's a little bit more annoying to clean now the inu and i also bought the holder for it because as you can see i have the little grippy thing on it and i'm like i don't trust myself with glass i am clumsy as anybody as bae as my sister i am clumsy i know i'm clumsy okay you know we're not perfect and i i'm a leo rising so at this point i'm just like you know what i'm cute while i'm clumsy i'm just gonna i'm just gonna accept it um anyway so I bought the black one 
just because that's just a color that gravitates towards me. If I, I, <laughs> I've had this whole thing with Batman because yes, I do see myself as Batman. Um, just because you know my Scorpio side, my Scorpio parts of me are very like on the detective mode, and I always say that I want all my accessories to be black, like tools, so my utility belt it matches. So this is part of my utility belt. Um, so the way this is designed, if you see it, it's already way different than this design. This bottom bit right here is not connected to this by some sort of like uh, removable compartment. Um, it's connected in a different way. So I can flip this over. I can open it. Hold on. Ooh. Hold on. I just washed it so I wouldn't be surprised I can flip it over and then boom that's just a seal I think I dropped something anyway this is just the seal for it which is removable as well and I just locked it in there whatever anyway so this I can take some out and then I could put a different crystal in there so it's customizable to what it is that you need and instead of having it in a pot I could just take the crystals out and swap them out versus what I need and I can also because I have so many different crystals use different crystals in here without it being touched by the water so it actually um, works out better for me um, so with this as well I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but you see that design right there that is the flower of life um, which I also added in there. Um, so I'm going to take some time now to read you what it says on the box. So this is the lava gray color. It says, you know, is versatile. Use your own stones to prepare crystal water or get one of the original Inu crystal blinds for the full experience. The I got the original uh, because their blinds are ridiculous. They're real, like the pod, this being filled with uh, rose quartz so you could change it. It's like it's like $45. I'm just like, I could just, I have rose quartz. I could just put it in there with the clear quartz. That's it. Um, so I just got the clear quartz. This is how it comes with. This is $55, which is not bad considering I paid like $129 for the wellness and the, the actual bottle itself. So this is like way less in price. Um, fill your precious crystals in a glass chamber that is fully separated from the water which again is really important because it maintains the quality of the crystals themselves um and it it makes it so it can last longer and you can also customize it which is a bigger deal um the two chamber system prevents the water from uh, your water from contamination which is another big thing if you're using crystals that are not tumbled to charge your water if you're on the go which is a big thing because you're not supposed to do it like let's say I had a small piece of selenite and I wanted to charge my water with selenite I couldn't do it with this I would have to do it with this I can do it with this bottle versus the other one because you know selenite dissolves in water so there's some crystals that maybe you wanted the energy of that hey if you don't have the time to do the whole charging around the bottle thing and you're on the go but you still want that energy you can do it that way so it like actually really helps um uh you know works it's all about infusing your water with crystal good vibes um pollutant free gla grass and it says varuel silla something that i can't i don't know how to pronounce um and then the other side says preparing crystal water is an age-old holistic concept <coughs> crystals infuse water with subtle energy every crystal has a distinct vibration and restructures the water in a special way which we're going to talk about uh, original inu um crystal blends are rooted in traditional crystal water practices and have been carefully composed with the help of not um naturopaths and germo germo i cannot pronounce that word i'm sorry uh the word the flower of life symbol inside of the bottle adds another source of positive energy to your water which looks like this is right it's um right pretty much on top of where the crystals would be um so that's there as well so that's what the bottle says um now a little bit about crystal waters the research why it's such a big deal um so historically what actually happened um and i'm gonna just be looking at my notes as always if you see me looking now i'm looking at notes or something or i'm just like spacing <laughs> um but um uh dr masaru emoto i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing that wrong um 
is was a Japanese scientist who basically he conducted an experiment with water with water consciousness specifically um, and what energies water can take so what he did was he took two cups of water and he did this with different things um, and he just put hate and love um, on two different cups and to this day you can literally watch a bunch of videos on YouTube of people doing the experiment and what happens um, with the experiment and um, You know but what he found was that the cup that had the word love on it with the water um crystallized and it actually stayed good for a really long time versus the cup that had the word hate on it got really mucky and like gross um and he discovered that word that water actually carries um energy vibration um and that it also absorbs intention which if you are which is if you are you know witchly inclined spiritually inclined at some point within your journey you will realize this um but we work with water as an element um with water elemental magic a lot um so we know that you can infuse intention and things into water so what this company basically did what vital jewel did which is Inu you know, is a sub company of them um is that they took that concept and they looked at crystals because we know that crystals have different energies and he, they wanted to see if um the crystals could crystallize the water the same way the words could and they found that it does the same thing um so basically you leave the you put water in here you wait seven minutes seven minutes time this is crystallized it also increases the ph level of the water as well um so it crystallizes the water and because we ourselves are a very high percentage of water we are in essence crystallizing our own blood while we're drinking it and circulating that water through so this is why I drink this very religiously um, just because I want to have the highest vibrational water that I can be drinking um, every day that's just what I do um, it helps with other parts areas of my life it helps with meditation it helps with how my body feels how my muscles feel it helps while like I, while I'm doing yoga if I need to stop and sip it just helps like on a spiritual level hydrate me but also my body um, so it's very important to me to do this because I'm putting in more energy so I'm constantly practicing um, water elemental magic um, but that's what the company did to basically take the study and apply it um using crystals which we know are very powerful tools in the journey a way to use this is also a way to use earth magic in combination with water magic um and also nurture yourself so that's my spiel on um the water now for uh inu the, the reason why they call it inu is because that's the word of um in Hawaiian it says to drink that's what the word is um, it's a BPA uh, free glass bottle <coughs> and uh, it comes pre-filled with clear quartz it's $55 it's really not bad I highly recommend it the second I saw it I knew just when I saw this I knew I had to have it I knew I had to have this as well um, and it just changes the game because again you can customize what it is that you want this to look like you can customize what it is that you want it, uh, your experience to look like you can um have the experiences that you want just how i do like i'm gonna be taking this out of the pod using my carnelian stones putting in the in the when i have my menses i'm gonna be um using the other pods when i need to use them as i need to use them like i'm not going to um Something is smelling like nuts, like burnt nuts. I don't know what it is. Um, anyway, I'm going to be using it accordingly um, based on what it is that I need. Um, and that's really how I've been using this water bottle for years. And this is why I was so excited uh, to get this one. Um, so I have been charging it. I left it in there. I just switched it on before I made the video. So it should be done by now. Um, so here's taking my first sip. It's just really refreshing to be honest it's just really nice refreshing um 
it's just really it's, it's one of my most powerful tools to be honest uh for regular day um magical use so uh definitely i'll put the link down below if you're interested in getting one of these um and yeah i think that was all the things that i wanted to talk to you guys about in regards to my inu um i will keep you guys updated here and there on you know how i use it new accessories that come out or that I add to it um occasionally whenever you know i update you guys on it but um it's something that i'm just happy to have is it's definitely i see it as a tool um and because again my venus is an aquarius so any modern way for me to do something um i'm gonna try to do any way that i can improve my craft and be like very savvy um this, this is another reason why my name is tigra hitana this the, the tigra is like that you know that's that intelligent like i'm gonna find new ways to do it i'm going to um in many ways like be savvy about what i'm doing um i'm not gonna get taken advantage of i'm going to m use tools that are working for me um through my journey that just makes things easier because back in the day they didn't have something like this you know so we need to use like um innovative ways to uh, use what we have and what we know and we know crystal healing we know um they have energy we know how it affects water it's just about making it more simple to use um and now that it's customizable honestly i feel like it beats this one um so that's just my opinion but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you got a lot from it i will see you guys in the next one thank you all to my new subscribers definitely check out the patreon so always growing over there and i will see you guys in the next video Bye.